What am, what am I even saying? Well, hello there. Motorsport's most magnificent man is back in the Funk Motorsport building. And I've been tasked with letting you, the fine people of the wide world out there, know all about Funk Motorsport and the magnificent things that they do. So I present to you this mini series called Heat Management for Dummies. Hello there and welcome back to episode three of Heat Management for Dummies. And today we're discussing all things heat barriers. But before we do that, I'd like to play a little bit of the imagination game, if you will. I have here, from a recent holiday I went on with my parents, a little bit of sun cream. The reason I bring this up is that I want to imagine that a Funk Motorsport product could do the same job that this fine cream does for our skin as their product does for the cars. As we know, when we go on a holiday to finally, like I did, you can get sunburnt if you don't put a layer of protection on between the sun and your skin. And this fine piece of golden material here does something quite similar when it comes to, well, all kinds of parts of the car. Have you ever seen a big aluminum sheet just like this aluminum sheet here placed between the bulkhead or the firewall? Well, that's there for a very, very good reason. So let us once again go to my hearty diagram for a further explanation. <clears throat> now, again, using our imaginations, I'd like to give you a small uh, story of something that I know from being the most dashing man in drifting, as I once was, that I saw many, many a sweatier driver that's all the heat coming from the engine while they were trying to drive, they were trying to drift, beaming through, getting the drivers red hot, they're sweating, they're perspiring, the soles of the feet, they're burning onto the pedals. You could even say that we are saving souls. As you can see here, there's a firewall, the heated arrows blasting through the firewall. If you don't have a heat barrier, you know what you're gonna have. You're gonna have a bad time, like this dude over here. However, if you want to be cool as a Colombian cucumber, then you're going to want to get a heat barrier. Not any old heat barrier. This ain't your mama's heat barrier. This is a Funk Motorsport heat barrier, baby. And if you have one of them, you're going to be cool as a Colombian cucumber. And if you don't, you're going to be sweating your... Oh, and one more thing. These funky aluminium heat barriers can be used for much more than just keeping a little bit of warm air from the driver and the engine bay. You can quite literally create, mold, manipulate these into any shape you feel. Look, it's a little hat. Any part of the car you want to keep cool, you get some of this of the good stuff and you can create barriers wherever you feel like it. Let us now chin wag about heat barriers, shall we? Now, before I mention all three of these products here, they are effectively uh, the same job being done in different ways, depending on the shape and the size of whatever it is that you need to keep either heat reflected away from or in. Enter here our heat barriers in aluminium. Single ply, or if you're a double ply man, this one's the ticket for you. Or if you're more of a golden blanket man, then this Funk Motorsport Golden Heat Blanket is gonna be perfect for wrapping around and reflecting all kinds of heat. Dum Dum, over to you. How can I secure the heat barrier to my vehicle? Well, it's completely up to you, a uh, matter of factly. Our heat barriers are versatile and can be secured in any way that suits your application. Nuts, bolts, adhesives, and rivets. It's completely up to you, get creative. Can you create custom heat barriers? We can, yes. Looking for a custom heat barrier application? Get in touch, we can certainly help. Well, that's, we'll see you next time on another edition of Heat Management for Dummies. I hope these nuggets of knowledge serve you well and that you've enjoyed this incredible journey of funk motorsport heat management that we've been on together. I already knew all of this stuff off by heart, but I hope that you've learned something that you can take forward to make sure that your car runs at its highest performance. <laughs>